I had a BMW here popped right in this right rear corner. Everything's fitting very nice. I have a BMW here. This one got rear-ended, popped right in this right rear corner, and it destroyed this rear body panel. And you can see it is stuffed way in right there. So this is going to get a new panel put on. I have the new panel right here. Then it also gets a new trunk lid, bumper cover, tail light, all that stuff. First, however, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab this and pull this out, get everything back to where it's supposed to be, and then I'll go ahead and start uh, taking this rear body panel off. So I have this one all fit together. Everything's fitting very nice. The trunk lid lashes and seals good. All my gaps are nice and even. So this rear body panel is ready to put on permanently now. BMWs are done a little differently than a lot of cars. This whole back panel will be rivet bonded on, no welding. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull the tail lights and weather strip back out and I'm gonna go ahead and drill all my holes where the blind rivets go. Then I'll lift this panel back off, get everything prepped out for adhesive, and I will put it on and get it rivet bonded on.
Now I have this cleaner slash primer to clean all of the mating surfaces. Then this is a cavity wax remover just to make sure there's no wax left on these surfaces so the adhesive sticks. All right, now, before I seam seal this, I have these EMC screws that I have to put nine of them in this rear body panel. And the reason BMW does this is because you gotta have a ground connection between the two panels. And with all the adhesive in there, there's no guarantee that there's a good ground anymore. These rivets aren't necessarily going to connect the metals properly. So, look they have you put these EMC screws in there to make sure it has that proper connection. Yeah. 